Hash the digital naturalist. The future of nature study a drone silently hovers over the forest canopy as morning light reveals patterns invisible to the ground observer. In a nearby stream, a tiny sensor detects the genetic traces of creatures that passed through hours ago. Welcome to the cutting edge of nature study, where advanced technology reveals the hidden stories of our natural world. This is the digital naturalist, and today we're exploring the revolutionary tools reshaping how we understand and protect our planet. The boundary between the observable and the invisible is shifting. Technologies once confined to advanced research laboratories are becoming accessible to nature enthusiasts, citizen scientists, and conservation projects worldwide. These tools aren't just improving our ability to observe nature, they're fundamentally changing what we can discover about the living world around us. Let's begin with one of the most transformative technologies, environmental DNA, or EDNA. Every organism leaves behind tiny genetic traces, skin cells, scales, mucus, or other biological material. Modern sensors can detect these microscopic clues in water, soil, or even air samples. Imagine testing a cup of stream water and discovering evidence of every species that recently passed through, from microscopic bacteria to large mammals. This technology is revolutionizing biodiversity surveys. Traditional methods might miss shy or nocturnal species, but Edna reveals their presence through the molecular footprints they leave behind. Conservation projects worldwide are using Edna to track endangered species, detect invasive organisms early, and monitor ecosystem health with unprecedented accuracy. The applications are remarkable. Marine biologists use Edna to study ocean biodiversity without casting a single net. Wildlife managers track elusive species in remote areas through water samples from drinking holes. Urban ecologists monitor city streams to understand which species persist in human-modified environments. Each water sample tells a story of life's abundance and diversity. But the revolution in nature study extends far above the water's surface. Drone technology, combined with sophisticated sensors and imaging systems, is providing new perspectives on ecosystems. These aerial platforms carry multispectral cameras that can detect plant health, thermal sensors that track animal movements, and litter systems that create three-dimensional maps of habitat structure. Consider how this transforms forest research. Traditional surveys might take weeks to assess canopy health across a large area. A drone equipped with multispectral cameras can do it in hours, detecting early signs of disease or stress before they're visible to the human eye. The same technology helps track deforestation, monitor restoration projects, and study how forests respond to climate change. These eyes in the sky are particularly valuable for wildlife conservation. Thermal imaging drones can spot animals hidden in dense vegetation or track nocturnal species. In marine environments, drones help monitor whale populations, track turtle nesting sites, and even collect whale breath samples for health assessment. The bird's eye view reveals patterns and connections that ground-based observers might never notice. The automation of observation represents another frontier in nature study. Camera traps, motion-triggered cameras that can operate for months in remote locations, are generating millions of wildlife images. These silent sentinels capture intimate moments of animal behavior, document rare species, and help us understand how wildlife uses different habitats throughout the day and year. But the real power emerges when we combine these automated systems with artificial intelligence. Machine learning algorithms can now sort through millions of camera trap images, identifying species and behaviors with increasing accuracy. What once took researchers months to analyze can now be processed in hours, allowing scientists to focus on understanding patterns and implications rather than basic identification. Sound recording technology has undergone a similar transformation. Automated recording units placed in forests, wetlands, or marine environments capture the acoustic signatures of biodiversity. These devices record everything from bird songs to bat echolocation calls, insect stridulations to whale vocalizations. Advanced software can identify species from their calls, track migration patterns, and monitor population changes through changes in acoustic activity. 
This bioacoustic monitoring reveals hidden layers of ecosystem complexity. We can now study how human noise affects animal communication, track the timing of bird migrations through their calls, and even detect the presence of rare species through their vocalizations. The soundscape becomes a window into ecosystem health and biodiversity. Satellite technology adds yet another dimension to modern nature study. Conservation projects now use satellite data to track environmental changes at scales from local to global. Advanced imaging systems can detect illegal logging operations, monitor coral reef health, and track changes in wetland extent. When combined with ground-based observations, this space-based perspective helps us understand how ecosystems are responding to environmental change. The revolution extends to the microscopic scale as well. Portable DNA sequencers, no larger than a smartphone, allow field researchers to identify species and study genetic diversity on site. This technology is particularly valuable for monitoring disease outbreaks in wildlife populations or detecting the spread of invasive species before they become established. But perhaps the most powerful aspect of modern nature study is how these technologies work together. Consider a comprehensive ecosystem monitoring program, camera traps and acoustic sensors provide continuous observation of wildlife activity. Drones map vegetation structure and health. Edna sampling tracks aquatic biodiversity. Satellite data monitors landscape scale changes. All this information flows into databases where artificial intelligence helps detect patterns and anomalies. This integration of technologies creates a more complete picture of ecosystem health and function than ever before possible. We can now track how changes in one aspect of an ecosystem affect others, understand complex ecological relationships, and detect environmental problems before they become critical. The democratization of these technologies is equally important. While some remain expensive, many are becoming increasingly accessible to citizen scientists and community conservation projects. Smartphone-based tools can now perform tasks that once required specialized equipment. Open-source software makes advanced analysis techniques available to anyone with interest and dedication. Take thermal imaging, for instance. What once required expensive specialized equipment can now be done with smartphone attachments. Citizen scientists use these tools to study urban wildlife, monitor bat populations, or track nocturnal pollinators. The same technology helps wildlife rehabilitators find injured animals and assists conservation projects in monitoring endangered species. Geographic Information Systems GIS, have also evolved from specialized professional tools to accessible platforms for citizen science. Modern mapping apps allow nature enthusiasts to create detailed habitat maps, track species distributions, and contribute to global biodiversity databases. This democratization of mapping technology helps communities document and protect their local natural heritage. The future holds even more promising developments. Miniaturized sensors will allow us to track individual insects through their daily activities. Advanced genetic techniques will help us understand how species adapt to environmental change. Quantum sensors might detect subtle environmental changes that current technology misses. Each advancement brings new opportunities to understand and protect the natural world. But with these powerful tools comes responsibility. The data we collect must be used ethically, with respect for both wildlife and human privacy. We must ensure that our observation methods don't disturb the very systems we're trying to study. And we must remember that technology, no matter how advanced, is just a tool, the heart of nature study remains careful observation and genuine curiosity about the natural world. The rise of networked sensors and real-time monitoring systems is creating an Internet of Nature, a global network of devices and observers tracking the pulse of our planet. This network helps us understand how ecosystems respond to environmental change, detect emerging threats to biodiversity, and measure the success of conservation efforts. Consider the implications for conservation. When a camera trap photographs a rare species, it can immediately alert local conservation teams. 
When Edna sensors detect an invasive species, management responses can begin before the invasion takes hold. When satellite data shows illegal forest clearing, authorities can respond quickly to protect threatened habitats. These technologies are particularly valuable for studying how climate change affects ecosystems. Networks of sensors can track changes in flowering times, monitor shifts in species distributions, and document how extreme weather events impact wildlife. This information helps us understand how different species might respond to future climate changes and what we can do to help them adapt. The integration of artificial intelligence with these monitoring systems creates new possibilities for conservation. Machine learning algorithms can predict wildlife movement patterns, helping reduce human-wildlife conflict. They can detect early warning signs of ecosystem stress, allowing preventive conservation measures. They can even help optimize the placement of conservation resources for maximum impact. But among all these advanced technologies, we mustn't forget the importance of human observers. Technology extends our senses and expands our reach, but it's human curiosity, creativity, and compassion that drive conservation forward. The most successful projects combine high-tech tools with traditional field craft and local knowledge. As we look to the future, the possibilities seem endless. Imagine networks of sensors monitoring ecosystem health across entire continents. Picture artificial intelligence systems that can predict and prevent environmental problems before they become critical. Envision a world where every nature enthusiast has access to powerful tools for understanding and protecting the natural world. Yet the fundamental goal remains unchanged, to understand and protect the incredible diversity of life on Earth. The technologies we've explored today are simply new ways to pursue this timeless mission. They help us see more, understand better, and act more effectively to protect the natural world. Next time you're in nature, remember that you're not just an observer, you're part of a global community using cutting-edge technology to study and protect our planet's biodiversity. Whether you're using a smartphone app to identify plants, contributing to a citizen science project, or helping deploy advanced sensors in your local ecosystem, you're part of this revolution in nature study. The future of conservation technology is unfolding now, and you can be part of it. The tools we've explored today are just the beginning. As technology continues to evolve, new possibilities for understanding and protecting nature will emerge. The key is to embrace these tools while remembering that they serve a greater purpose, helping us become better stewards of the natural world. Together, we can use these powerful new tools to protect the incredible diversity of life on Earth. The future of nature study is here, and it's more exciting than ever. Let's use these technologies wisely and well, in service of the natural world we all share and cherish. Welcome to the future of nature study. The tools are ready. The possibilities are endless. And the adventure is just beginning.